This video is brought to you by Thrustmaster. If you want to get into DCS with an entry level stick, definitely check out the Flight Hotas 1. I'll put a link to that in the video description and the pinned comments below. And use the promo code you see on your screen now for an additional 15% off. Thank you again to Thrustmaster. All right, guys, I got a bit of a challenge for myself set up here today. We have an SA-5, an SA-3 at an airbase up ahead, which is also scrambling MiG-29s and MiG-21s. And we have to deal with all of those threats with a singular F-16. As you can see here, we have the SA-5 locked up. Okay, SA-5 has missile in the air. This little thing you saw me select the SA-5 with, uh, that is an HTS pod. Uh, that is uh, HTS for High Speed Anti-Radiation Missile Targeting System. It's one of the things that makes the F-16 so, so good at seed. Uh, he's way over there. So I'm gonna have to avoid this missile and then get closer to him. There should be some aircraft that are coming off that runway, scrambling to uh, come and try to kill me. I'm going to defend a little bit more. I just don't want to get smoked in the first few seconds of the fight with an SA-5. Uh, SA-5s can be kind of scary. They have pretty decent range, but nothing the F-16 can't deal with. And you guys have to let me know what you think about this mission. Uh, some more seed and stuff like that. Let me know what you guys think if you want to see more of that. We're going to go ahead and recommit here. We are clean now. Not being locked by anything. Alright, uh, SA-5 once again has fired on me. It's right at the airbase there. I'm just a little bit scared to push him. <laughs> kind of new to this whole seed thing, but whatever, let's do it anyway. Can't just hang out here. If we stay here, the aircraft are going to push us and kill us. So we got to get up there and toss a harm. Uh, for those of you unaware, a harm is a anti-radiation missile. Uh, you would call Magnum when firing it. Uh, and it goes and basically homes in on the uh, radiation source, which would be the SAMS search radar. Uh, using the TGP here to have a look, see if I can see anything. There's the airfield. Uh, I see that, you see that black stuff on the runway there? That looks like smoke, so probably a couple guys getting on the runway now. This SA-5 is starting to get a little bit annoying. He's locking me up again. And he launched again. This guy's starting to piss me off. Alright, let's get the nose on. And... Let's get a magnum out at him. Hold this, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll just go ahead and dive down, defend, and we're going to have to probably switch over to air to air mode here. Alright, down on the deck, and that missile is chasing me, but I should be okay, I'm not super stressed about it. Uh, I'm gonna switch us over to uh, air to air now, and we're gonna go ahead and recommit and see if we're being pushed. If we are, we'll kill whatever's pushing us, and then we'll take out that other SAM system here. We see on the data link here on the radar, we can see the fire control radar. We can see multiple 
data link contacts showing uh, these aircraft taking off from the runway. And you see this white circle on the HTS page there, on the HAD page, technically. Um, that is the range of the harms, of which I have one left still. So I'm going to probably use that for the SA-3. Uh, that SA-5 is still showing up there, but he's not doing anything, which makes me think he's going to be dead momentarily. Or he is dead, probably, more than likely. Because um, his search radar is gone. He'd be locking me, he'd be shooting me right now if he was still alive. So I think that harm found its mark. Uh, off in front, we got a MiG-29 shooting at me, Fox 3. At 9-ish miles, that was. We're going to go ahead and defend here. I have three AMRAMs total. One is gone, so I have two left, and I have one 9X for air-to-air. -air. That's his missile. And we're going to go ahead. I think that missile missed, actually. That guy dodged my AMRAM. That's not good because I have a very limited air-to-air -air capability here. If I miss anything, um, I'm going to be in big trouble. Kind of going cold here. Trying to get my SA back a little bit. Luckily that AMRAM I threw at him made him turn away. And I'm going to go ahead and recommit here. Oops. Oh, lost the lock there. I thought I had it. Cold again. Very cautious here. We're dodging many, many missiles. There's the other missile. You see that? A couple of flares out because he probably fired a Fox 2 at me or something. So we have to recommit here. This time he has to die or I am going to get killed by him. Uh, six miles, Fox 3, and we're going to get out of here and hope that Amram can do the job by itself. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Look at him. He's way off to the right. I can't turn my head that much. There it is. Impact. Got him. actually extremely challenging because you got to keep uh, a bunch of things in your mind like who's pushing you what sam is targeting you how far they are there's another mig-29 i think it's a mig-29 off ahead here i imagine it's the wingman of the guy we just killed and the had page says that the sa5 is not transmitting anymore that's what the green means but that's where it was so technically we're safe that SA-5 is confirmed dead, I would say. We gotta take care of this MiG-29 here, who's on my flank. There's the dead guy. And his buddy here should join him momentarily. You see that little black speck off in the distance? That is a MiG-29. Locked. Nine miles. Fox 3. And we'll defend. And if he continues nose hot, he's going to eat that AMRAM right to the face. And he might notch it. And if he notches it, then I got to go in for the 9x kill. I really don't want to, though. And it's taking a very long time to hit him. There we go. All right. Splash. That's two MiG-29s, one SA-5 so far.
All right, we have a couple more aircraft in the air, but we'll deal with them on a as-needed basis. I'm going to go ahead and recommit to that airfield and try to knock out that SA-3 if possible. Um, and I'm probably going to have to climb or something so he can see me do a little bit of wild weaseling because you need him to turn on his radar, his search radar, in order for you to be able to shoot a harm at it. And uh, it would be nice if he fired a missile at me because then I would know that, you know, he's got to keep that radar on the entire time. Which is not good for me. I mean, I don't want a missile launched at me, but as long as it's on, my harm has something to go and hit. It's going to go and try to hit that search track radar. Um, but currently nothing, which is a little concerning. That SA-3 doesn't seem to be... It is searching, I think. That's what the yellow means from my understanding. And it's pretty quiet out here, actually. And if I remember correctly, a total of four aircraft scrambled off that, that runway I saw on data link. So two of them are gone, two more of them are out there somewhere. And we're going to go ahead and just pick up this SA-3 who's just started locking me up. Okay, let's give him a magnum here. We're well within range. Okay, last harm off the rail. And hopefully that should hit him. So, that SA-3 won't be a problem here momentarily, and then we just got to take out these two other aircraft. Oh, never mind, he shot at me. I didn't think he would, but that's good. You know, we talked about this. We want him to shoot at me. I'm just inside of his threat ring, too, so he has the range to shoot at me. And we've kind of beamed him there. You can see his missile trail. It's kind of coming towards me. It's a little scary. And everything's off. You see that? Everything's turned off. No more lock tone, no more missile indication, everything's gone. Uh, so I would bet money that that harm actually found its mark and smoked that SA-3 right in the face. I see like a missile impact, but no smoke, so. But it's fine. I mean, it's turned off, so that serves my purpose. And that f smoke pile you see there, plume, sorry, is the uh, SA-5, I believe. That was the first one that we hit. So we've knocked out the air defenses at that base. Uh, so that thing is completely doors open for a strike to come in and just clean it up and hit whatever they want to hit. Uh, but we do need to take out the uh, two other aircraft that scrambled off that runway. Got to find those guys and kill them. with a MiG-21 here and he can have this 9X he's gonna die for sure got him splash one MiG-21 all right uh, let me jettison these tanks there we go have to gun kill the last guy because I am completely clean here it's 
So we're going to go ahead and head towards the data link contact. The last known location where they saw him. Well, they're actually still actively seeing him. He's running away, though. <laughs> so we'll see if we can catch up to him and uh, hopefully kill him. Alright, I did manage to catch up with this guy, but he is in the clouds. Very difficult to see him. There we go, I see him. Alright. There's a MiG-21. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem for the F-16 here. Get the lock, the sun, the clouds. There we go. And I am slow, but that's okay. I'm in a good position. I'm on a six. We'll just be patient here. He's also pretty slow, so he's going to have to dump his nose to regain his energy. That's perfect for me. I will gain my energy. Got him in the HUD now. See that speed building, 260, 300, 340, 360, 400. And let's pull him into the HUD. Good hits. Good hit. Somehow he's still flying. Those were some really good hits I got on there. And I hit him more. Why is this guy still flying? <laughs> it just riddled him full of holes, man. No, oh, there we go. He broke his wings. Finally. All that damage, as soon as he put G's on the wings, they ripped off. And uh, he's lucky to have ejected there. Splash 1, MiG-21. All right, guys, let's do a quick little tack view review here. We got the blue F-16. Uh, we're going to keep this quick. Just want to give a full rundown of what went down. We have our AWACS here. We have the base, SA-5, SA-3, and four aircraft here that are going to scramble, two MiG-29s and two MiG-21s. As we can see, our AWACS dives down to the ground and basically provides no support. Um, luckily, he actually does continue to, I guess, provide some data link as the guys take off. So that's nice. Uh, we have one SA-5 launch there that just blew up in the air. I don't know if you saw that. Right here, watch this. Right here, boom. And it just blows up in the air. I guess it lost track because it looks like I went beam to him. And uh, we continue flying. I pull up here. What goes on here? I think they fire again. Yeah, so he, sh he fires again, and this is when we get the harm off. So there's my harm. And he's guiding his missile. I'm defending. You don't need to guide the harm. It goes by itself. It finds its own radiation, homes in on it. And it ends up hitting that SA-5 battery right there. Boom. And we got the four guys scrambling into the air. So while they were scrambling, they saw missiles firing behind them. And then as they took off, they saw an impact of a harm. Their SA-5 system just went down. And the one, and we come back around. It's kind of a multitasking thing, you know? So we defended from that. The harm hits. And we come back around, nose hot onto the airbase. And we got three guys nose hot. The high altitude, highest altitude, not very high still. A uh, guy fires a missile first. And I got a missile off at the guy who didn't shoot. MiG-21, lucky that that didn't like see him somehow. <laughs> but that guy did notch my AMRAM. So big congratulations to him. That is difficult to do. Um, AMRAM goes for the chaff. Uh, this guy... Yeah, so there he goes to a flanking position. MiG-21 essentially tries to run away. Uh, this guy continues to chase me down. Fire another missile, and we do the kind of offset AMRAM launch. 
at about six miles. And that thing hits him perfectly. Splash that guy. This is the main bigger threat right here. Uh, chase him down. Once again, he is being shown to me on data link. AWACS is back up in the air. Uh, he was down here on the ground, basically not doing anything at one point, but he's back up. He's providing data link. I see him. I go after him. I shoot an AMRAM at him. He tries to notch again. You're not going to get that lucky twice. And we come back around. We fire the last harm at the SA-3. We hit that SA-3. It's gone. Its missile's gone. The door is open on that airbase for uh, whatever strike aircraft want to come. We go down, we merge with a MiG-21. I don't see him momentarily, but then I see him. We merge with him. He goes vertical. Bad move, 9x, he's dead. All right, easy kill, drop tanks. And data link was showing this guy trying to run away. So I run him down and he sees that I'm coming. He's, he realizes he's gonna have to fight this one, uh, which is not a good realization to have against an F-16. And we get into the merge against him. Easily take a six. Couple of gun rounds. He gets hit several times and doesn't die. And then eventually here he breaks his wings and he crashes and dies. So that's the mission. Uh, so one SA-3, one SA-5, two MiG-29s uh, and two MiG-21s. Uh, lone F-16 did all of that. So imagine if there was a flight of four of these things. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.